The breakthrough comes after Theresa May indicated the government would look to move to an opt-out system in organ donation at last year's Conservative Party conference. A private member's bill to introduce presumed consent in England was given an unopposed second reading by MPs today and will now undergo further scrutiny in Parliament. Currently, there is an opt-in system for organ donation in England which means people need to give consent by joining the NHS organ donor register. Opt-out laws are already in place in Wales and Scotland. Health Minister Jackie Doyle Price confirmed the government will support legislation that will mean people will have to opt out of being organ donors. Geta Theresa May and Jeremy Corbyn have backed plans to make organ donation automatic in England. Meanwhile Jeremy Corbyn said the legislation would save an awful lot of people's lives in the future. Ms Doyle Price estimates the changes could save 200 extra lives every year. She said, we are supporting this bill. We are determined to ensure that we secure more organs available for transplant because we are very concerned that we are losing lives unnecessarily. Our best estimates are that this change will secure an additional 100 donors a year which could lead to the saving of 200 extra lives. On the basis that we could save 200 lives we will wholeheartedly support this bill. Pafarami Corbyn said the legislation would save an awful lot of people's lives in the future speaking to Labour MP Geoffrey Robinson who introduced the bill Ms Doyle Price. Added I'm very grateful to him for bringing this bill and to confirm that the government will give its wholehearted support. Mr Robinson said a cautious assessment by the NHS suggested that the opt-out system backed up with the right resources could save up to 500 lives every year. He said on the present waiting list of some 6,500 some 500 are in effect on a life sentence and will without an organ becoming available die over the next year. I believe this house would agree with me that that just simply isnt good enough. I believe that we can do better as a nation, Ms Doyle Price added, that the government would be referring to the changes as Max's law after nine-year-old Max Johnson who benefited from a heart transplant. We are determined to ensure that we secure more organs available for transplant because We are very concerned that we are losing lives unnecessarily. Health Minister Jackie Doyle Price MPs heard that around 1,000 people die every year while waiting for a transplant and England had some of the lowest rates of consent for organ donation in Western Europe. They also heard a grieving father's decision to allow his 9 year old daughter's organs to be used to save four lives should serve as inspiration to others. After Kira Bull died in a road accident last year. Her father Joe made the decision to donate saving the lives of a man, woman, boy and 10-year-old Max Johnson who had been in desperate need of a new heart. Tory MP Peter Heaton Johns, who represents Scary's family, said the case demonstrated how more organs means more saved lives. Speaking in support of the bill, Mr Heaton Johns said this could be an inspiration too ensure that they too sign up for organ donation and will give them strength if they have to face similar circumstances. Get a Labour MP Geoffrey Robinson introduced the private member's bill for the opt-out scheme for donation. Kira's story and Max's story demonstrate that more organs mean more saved lives. I will be thinking of Max and Kira. It is the bill and it is thanks to the brave decision taken by Kira's dad on that most difficult of days that four more people have life who otherwise might have not. That to me is the best argument for seeing this bill reach the statute books. Mr Robinson also said with any fair wind shall we say from the government by the end of the year we shall have put the act Max's act as she called it on the statute book. The Labour MPs organ donation deemed consent bill will now undergo detailed scrutiny by MPs at committee stage. It must then clear further stages in the Commons and undergo scrutiny in the House of Lords before becoming law.